All right, tonight KPRC2 in investigates deep fakes. You've seen those videos on the internet, politicians and celebrities saying and doing things that they never actually said or did. And now everyday people are becoming targets. It's getting harder to spot those phonies. Tonight, KPRC2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum has the top five ways to spot a deep fake. His story, while sad, is not what you'd expect. In fact, he is not even human. This dude is a deep fake, AI, a computer generated image. And so are these kids, two of my kids, now wearing their parents' faces, transplanted directly and seamlessly with an app. In fact, the voice you hear right now is also not real. The voice you hear is not human. It is machine made. Maybe you can tell that's not really me, but boy, deep fakes are getting pretty good. Sometimes it's, you know, hey, there's this video. Can we tell if this is real or not? Gary Hustis is a Houston-based digital forensic investigator, and he knows the deep fake space once reserved for politicians and celebrities is now making its way to everyday people. Does this sort of thing um, happen to non-celebrities? Yes. Why? It can be a number of reasons. Revenge and money top the list. And just this year, two separate local school districts have had to deal with deep fake issues. Teachers' heads fitted to porn star bodies. The suspected culprits, spiteful students. It's not funny when you're the target. And it's not cool getting duped either. Yeah, so if you'd asked me this a year or two ago, I would have said, uh, if you're looking at a photo uh, of a person and you're not sure whether it's real or whether it was AI generated, one thing you might look at is the hands. Early AI generated images often added too many fingers, but that's gotten better, says U of H assistant professor Peter Salib. Progress is extraordinarily, has been extraordinarily rapid for the last. I mean, certainly the last year. Even so, Professor Salib helped us formulate a list of how to spot deep fakes, at least for now. One, those hands. Two, jagged face edges. Three, lip sync. Watch for it. Is it off? Four, skin texture. Is there a mismatch between the face and body? And finally, lighting differences overall. Know that, and you may be less likely to be fooled by this. To the untrained eye, I look like a woman. But you know better, don't you? In Southwest Houston, Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. That's All right. Scary. Yeah, it is. And <laughs> if you have a story for KPRC 2 Investigates, call the tip line at 713-223-TIPS or email investigates at kprc.com. Com, the things that we have to brace for. Hey, if I can, if and our find, kids, like, I'm so scared for them. If we can find a weather clone on busy weather days, I'm all about deep fakes then at that point. <laughs>